Hey guys, I'm Colwyn. I got another toy review, and today I've got trans uh, not not Transformer DC Multiverse Batman Hellbat suit. He made this suit of armor so he can fight against an evil, uber super overpowered Superman. And he's also been sitting in the background of most of my videos for a while now, at least the ones where I'm on camera. And yes, I had him holding a pinky pie the entire time because I thought it was funny. Uh, let's go ahead and yes, he, they all the DC Multiverse guys come with a nice display paint. I, I remember him coming with two sets of hands. I cannot find the other set of hands. So hopefully he didn't come with an extra set of hands. And I'm thinking of another big old beefy guy that came with two sets of hands. But as he is, even without extra hands, this is him. He's got a lot of cool stuff going on about him. First of all, look at that wingspan. That is ridiculous. And yes, you can fold them away. And he can collapse his wings down on each other. Okay, so they're going to be kind of fighting for space on his back, but you can close his wings. I think that's really more for packaging him away in, in the box. So let's go ahead and pull his wings off and just put them down there. And like, even without them, he is still beefy and intimidating. Let me go ahead and bring in my size comparisons. See, that, that's how intimidating he is. That is just how ridiculously intimidating this guy is. Uh, Articulation-wise. He's got a swivel at the neck. He can't look up, like, at all. He can look down a little bit, but, like, he's got all this techno stuff going on in there. He doesn't need to look up. He's got built-in radar. These shoulder plates can move straight out of the way. Which is really nice, giving you access to not only an in-the-shoulder swivel, but then an at-the-shoulder universal joint, an at-the-shoulder swivel. It does break up the paint line, but it's fine. He's got a nice elbow bend. It does not give him more than 90 degrees, but he doesn't need that to throw a punch. He's got a uh, ball joint. He's got a universal joint in the. He's got a swivel. Hinge and then another swivel at the wrist at the hand itself. There we go. It's kind of hard to get it to use because they'll kind of fight each other a little bit. He's got an app in the torso bowl joint. He's got another bowl joint down at the waist. So you can get him into some pretty interesting stressed aggressive poses if you're so inclined. He's got a um, peg with universal jointed hips so be careful you see how those legs are in there yeah there is a chance that those could get broken he's got an impressive double jointed knee that gives him a really nice shoot easily 100 degrees of motion yeah and then he's got a similar peg with swivel and ball kind of thing going on in his ankles look at that he's got all these thrusters painted in you know, he, this is Batman's response to an Iron Man suit. Oh, I should build an Iron Man suit? Okay, this is my Iron Man suit. Now, he, he built this so that he can go fight go fight Superman. And, um, yeah, that's the end of the review. So, let's go ahead and talk about the box, which I still have. We're going to go ahead and take the box. We're going to open that all up. And, let's see here, um... Okay. These ones go on top. Then the display plate is going to Okay. It's not going to stay in there right now, but it'll be fine. Then I can take the interior tray and stick it in there and then let's get Mr. Hellbat all straightened out
and I'm not seeing any spaces to keep an extra pair of hands. So, yeah, I, I am glad to say that he probably did not come with an extra pair of hands. And I can slip that all in. This guy, he was available at Walmarts and Targets. He was about 20 bucks. I don't know what he's going for right now, but at 20 bucks, he was a really impressive figure. Even at like $25, I'd say he'd be a nice, impressive figure. He looks good in the box. He's heavy. Uh, turn around the back. We've got this really cool. Yes, they all did come with trading cards. I got the trading cards put up away somewhere else. But a uh, nice artwork of Hellbat armor. Nothing really talking about, you know, his storyline, but it does say down here Batman and Robin. 35 in 2014 so if you want to know more about this hellbat armor go look up batman and robin number 35 comics 2014 this has been colwin talking about trent used to doing the transformers mcfarland toys dc multiverse batman and hellbat armor thank you for watching have a good day be safe